Yo, we are back at it with NBA 2K25 Arcade Mobile. As you guys can see, I am back with the same player. However, there is a huge difference in which I will show you guys later on in this video. Actually, in just a moment. But anyways, we are back at it. This is part two, whatever you want to call it, of the Arcade Mobile series or journey or whatever. But here's the thing, though. I had to literally make myself a new player. Bam. Meet Rocco. Hendrix, okay? As you can see, I had to literally make a new build because this stupid update this game had, like, last night when I was downloading the game on my phone once again. Long story short, I have to literally reinstall the entire thing. I had no iCloud backup save files for that game, which let me no other choice but to make an entire build all over again. So this time I made me a six foot four shooting yard. I'm on the bucks now, but bro, peep this schedule. Like, look at this. We are playing against Golden State. We got the Atlanta Hawks, the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Hornets twice, the Brooklyn Nets, the Indiana Pacers, Raptors, so on and so forth. Okay, look, I'm going to show you guys my first My Career game. I haven't played a My Career game on mobile in so long. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so with that being said, we are playing against the New York Knicks. Quite ironic, I know, we're both Eastern Conference teams. But the first thing I did notice right off the bat is this camera angle. Now, I, I li listen, like I said, I have to do the entire tutorial game all over again. I changed the camera angle the first time, it didn't save, so now I have to do it the second time. I don't know why it didn't save throughout the game. Like, why can't it be the same as the console version to where no matter where you change the camera angle, it can be saved across all modes. And hold up. Wow, 2K legit have an option to change the shot meter the entire time. It is hidden in this settings screen. Once you play a micro game, and you can actually make the size bigger. That's kind of neat. But still, why hide this throughout other modes? Like, I have no idea why it's exclusive in this specific mode. I just don't get it. But anyway, moving on past that. And as you can see, right off the gate, Jason Tatum doing the spin move. Oh my goodness, behind the backboard. Oh my goodness. That was some NBA Street Volume 4 type stuff right there. He was doing some mazzle dazzle. And guess what? I don't blame him. Okay. So with that being said, we're back on offense. You know, shout out to buddy over here getting that rebound and so i passed it to big man over there in the paint and he luckily made that fadeaway shot i don't know how that was possible i may not know his overall but i guarantee you that was a lucky shot you cannot tell me that wasn't a lucky shot but guess what i timed that one nearly perfect and i ended up making that one so that was also a lucky shot and you will see in a moment to the point where the shooting can be broken at times on mobile but guess what i got me an and one so make that four points along with this free throw so so make that five points okay five points in my first my career nba game so thankfully the first quarter is now over and the score so far is 19 to 32 i know you guys see it but you know i have to reassure you what the score is just in case if you guys don't know or if you're not paying attention i'm just saying but moving on to the second quarter as you can see the score is now 21 to 34 so 13 point game and sheesh Man, did you see that block? He was swatting that ball out of his hands with pure authority. My goodness. And I got subbed to the bench. And they put me back in with a minute and 30 something seconds left on the clock. I have no idea why the coach in some of these sports games be doing me dirty, especially as a rookie. I mean, I get it, but still, maybe it's the quarter length. I don't know, but he made that bucket. Okay, who cares? And now here I am trying to attempt a three-pointer this time. And do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? The shooting in this mobile version of this very game can be broken at times to where you cannot tell whether you're going to make a shot or not. Anyways, moving on, look at the mismatch. Look at that mismatch right there that is one of the few things i cannot stand about nba 2k these days the mismatching with the cpu it's in, it's insane okay but either way that was the second quarter now moving on past halftime now starting off the second half third quarter whatever i gave my assist to yours truly al horford good stuff so with that being said now i have five points and two assists look at that defense right there of course i had to get on my man's pause but look at that uh, Another assist right there to Al Horford. Right now, it's me. It's the Al Horford and Rocco Hendricks show, okay? Me and him, we got vision. We're slowly building up chemistry right now. And look at this. You guys thought I couldn't dunk with this build? You know I had to put those dunk packages on my player. Come on now. And peep this play right here. Yo. 
Yo, I have zero clue how he made that, despite being somewhat of a higher overall than me. But there is no way, with that much decent defense, he was able to shoot that. There was no way that was possible. But guess what? I got my lick back. And so here I am again, trying to get another lick. But guess what? I missed the three-pointer. Guys, expect me to pause the game every time I miss a shot in pure frustration. That's just me getting tilted, okay? But the third quarter is over. And so we are still having a very tight lead. And by tight, I mean expansive. Pause again. But listen, we are up by numerous points. Look at this. 81 to 127. You cannot tell me this team is working like a dynamic group right now, okay? So we have to put up a great performance and again here i go missing another shot do you see what i mean now it's like i make one shot that's not a green and miss one that is close to being a perfect release but oh my goodness i didn't even know that was Carl anthony towns i almost forgot he was on the team the entire time i didn't even know that was him but here's my point okay now i'm gonna show you guys something important look at where am i oh, oh i'm at the top now look at this I am literally 4 for 8. It's like, bro, I know something is up with this game for sure. I can't put my finger on it. And, oh my goodness, this fool... Bridges. I cannot take this too seriously. Me and him, believe it or not, we were rivals throughout the past few 2K games years ago, okay? I cannot stand playing against him no matter what position I'm playing, especially in a my career game. He's one of those. He is one of the few NBA players that I hate on this game, okay? But regardless of the case, we did win. And mind you, yes, I will admit this is on Rookie. Last video, I put the difficulty on Pro because I was trying to look good. But for now, I'm trying to legitimately take this game one step at a time, okay? So therefore, I'm trying to get adjusted. Again, I haven't played this game in weeks, but I'm trying to get slowly adjusted to this game. But hold on, peep the fit. I got a varsity jacket now and new tattoos for both arms. Sign me up 2k do you see what i mean when i say this game is a huge upgrade over the console version to some degree at the moment but still the fact that they give you these clothes and tattoos as rewards especially after talking to this clown known as ronnie 2k it all makes sense it all makes perfect sense now i can be shirtless now on the mobile suddenly it do not take me this long to grind on this game to get the topless option I did it early on as long as I follow the quest and get the rewards afterwards. 2K, take notes with these console games next time, please. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I got another one on the way. It's been viral, and I'm out here. Peace, people. Have a good one.